Thank you, Madam Speaker. I, I listened in and, uh, to the Honourable Member's speech, and, and I, I do agree that, that people are suffering in this country. However, um, she, she seems to, and the Conservatives seem to put it all upon this, this one uh, carbon tax, and yet, as governments consistently and consecutively, we legislate poverty. And um, I just want to take a bit of a, a, a statement from the um, Ontario Human Rights Commission who talks about poverty, and they say in order to, um, to get through that or to, to deal with poverty, we need to uh, recognize the right to an adequate standard of living, um, uh, help in terms of uh, providing good health care, uh, providing a universal basic income, ensuring that we uh, meet uh, needs like food insecurity, minimum wage low-paid work, all of those things. Co, why is it that the Conservatives focus on this one thing instead of actually dealing with the problem in the first place? Thank you, Madam Speaker. Honourable Speaker. Member for Calgary, Midnapore. Yeah, thank you very much uh, to my Honourable uh, colleague uh, who I enjoy, and I very much enjoyed her mother as well when she was in this House. Um, you know, the member talks about legislating poverty, and I, it's my belief that her and her party have been legislating party, uh, poverty for the last 36 months and working hand in hand uh, with this government. And she and her party always have a chance to make the choice to leave that agreement so that Canadians can have the opportunity to have a choice in how they'd like to see this nation go forward, where hopefully we can reduce this debt and this deficit deficit, where we can reduce this necessity, this obsession with outside consultants, and hopefully bring some ease to Canadians. But the first little step that her and her party can take is to support the motion that we are putting forward on Monday. Merci beaucoup, Madame la Présidente.